makes from the next question remember i'm giving you all the updates regarding jobs regarding travel regarding updates and everything that you need to know in the gulf countries thank you so much for supporting me thank you so much for supporting this channel by the way if you've not placed if you have not tapped on the notification bell please do because it's going to be the only way that you always be updated whenever i upload a new video for the returning subscribers thank you so much in today's video what are we trying to look at let us try to look at a round about a round up, a round up uh, on what we call uh, 2022 partially 2022 and this question we are going to talk about two things we are going to talk about the qatar national day then we are going to talk about the Kai, the fifa world cup final that is going to be hosted uh, very soon on 18th December. Remember, when we are talking about the FIFA World Cup Qatar, we're talking about the, the, the tournament, it has been a while. Remember, this is a tournament that takes almost over uh, four years in organizing the tournament for the country host to, to make sure that it can host or it can prepare everything indeed it has to prepare for, for the people coming to watch the game. And these are 32 World Cup or 32 national teams that are coming from different countries to compete against one another for the prize, which is always what we call the glittering trophy of the FIFA World Cup Qatar. For those people who have been actually been in Qatar, definitely you can agree with me. Some of you have got a chance to have a look, to have a, a look at that trophy, how definitely it looks like and how glittering it is in one way or the other. Uh, what is quite amusing and something that you definitely need to understand is that how better this country has been able to successfully hold or host the FIFA World Cup amidst to what uh, uh, the conception that was there in one way or the other. At least we've tried to gladly have a little bit of what it is. I remember when we are talking about the opportunities of the FIFA World Cup, I think most of you have benefited. Those that were so lucky at that time and there were no hurdles in way to get you out of your country, they benefited in what you call the FIFA World Cup uh, jobs, which we are on what you call the FIFA World Cup visa, which we call the higher visa, which was strictly for the jobs of the three months and six months contract. You've got high pay, you've got a every subsidy, and you've got every every benefit that you needed to get if you are here for three months and six months. That was pretty very good because we are looking at the tournament itself is what is bringing all this. If the tournament was not in this country, then it would not, uh, maybe our brothers or our sisters would not have that opportunity. Then still something that we also need to uh, talk about is that uh, is that it has given us a light of to see how definitely we can see other people, see other people around, and uh, even those that people, uh, even if you've had time for it to to kind of go and uh, uh, attend some of the matches, it was quite very good and quite very interesting in one way or the other. So meaning that we've got those opportunities uh, uh, from not only jobs but even opportunities to go and showcase ourselves and watch a game with other people and that is how successfully the country has been uh, a lot of entertainment uh, activities have been around the globe uh, we look at in the fan zones we look at uh, uh, things uh, like for example Doha Colonies fireworks have been going on other cultural dances and everything we look at in the Albida the major fan zone where you needed to have what you call a higher card it has been very massive for people who have always been there look at the public transport it has been a very wow and you know you need to only to have your hire card to access a public transport wherever you have to go the metro the buses at a no cost which was actually something that we should appreciate or we should appreciate for the country it has been something very good and when you look at even itself when you look at security wise also we've not had very many challenges there have not been a lot of challenges we've not had, seen a lot of very many report cases being reported uh, definitely in Qatar here regarding the World Cup a few scenario that may come in a uh, disagreement but still something like say we have to accept that it has been a very uh, success for uh, people for the migrant workers or for the people uh, that came to these Gulf countries to, to take up the opportunities to look for uh, something to eat for their families you've had something at least you can have in the memories uh, we, you live with memories at least with Qatar that you know I was in the country that hosted the FIFA World Cup games and uh, definitely something that we also need to, to appreciate we appreciate that this the country uh, uh, Qatar itself is that big screens were over different areas so meaning that if you did not have a, a ticket a match ticket to go into the, the tournament or to go into the stadium you would still watch the matches out of the big screen at zero cost at wherever you would go comfortably sit the watch and support your team in honor in your own capacity 
which was something that is very, very, very good at that time and we do get to appreciate we look at the volunteers we look at the fifa world cup volunteers which was an a corporate of almost over twenty thousand fifa world cup volunteers volunteering uh, getting new experiences meeting new cultures meeting new people at the same time and sharing out with the different people which was crucial something that is very good in one way or the other we get to all the opportunity but something that we need also to understand is the Qatar national day that is celebrated on 18th in december remember this was definitely designed in such a way that the national day is going to connect with what you call the fifa uh, final which will be held on the 18th december in this gulf state on what you call the sale uh, stadium which was called the sale city that is going to be holding the fifa world cup today remember the stadium in the sale that is holding a capacity of almost 80,000 people it has always been full to capacity when you look at the schedule of all the other previous matches from the start of the group stages until to the uh, to the time when we're going to have what you call the final the match the stadium has actually been doing a very good job as when it comes to holding the capacities which was something that's very good at one or the other and we should appreciate that remember that the national day will be celebrated and the this the, the survey actually the 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 program for it will be starting from seven, around 7 in the morning 7 a.m in the morning until uh, 10 then then the celebration will go on for people will be able to move to all those areas we have the whole niche different areas that they'll be having uh, different celebrations across the country uh, people in Pal Katal, you go in anywhere in Alakla, you go in alcohol wherever you have to go I think there will be celebrations for that which is actually very good then at 6 p.m. we shall have the game that will be played remember we have two teams that were left to play the final that is argentina and france having scrolled through all the group stages and wherever they have to go uh, to make sure that they take it all until to the last uh, two months standing that they have to compete and see who at the end of it all wins and gets off the cup at that time and that is crucially something that we definitely need to understand in one way or the other that the game will be held on december so that will be sunday 18 december and that will be we shall be just see who's going to be crowned the champions of what you call the fifa world cup qatar 2022 remember the fifa world cup qatar 2022 has been an amazing uh, event we've seen all uh, things that are happening from big teams falling out into what you call are uh, over underdog teams that have been able to scrape and eliminate the big teams so which is actually is going to be a memory into the hearts of very many people and they will definitely have to talk about Qatar 2022 which was hosting the FIFA World Cup Qatar and even the people that have been in the country uh, definitely uh, we just have to agree that they've been able to to kind of make scene and definitely try to have it a little bit in one or the other there's been a lot of very fun zones and still something that you also need to understand is the national day uh, and that day 18th of december is just going to be made a national public holiday and everyone will have to live to celebrate and celebrate for the cause of football and the fifa world cup and the end of the tournament at that time remember we are talking about this and we have to appreciate the opportunities that are being created you know when you look at joe itself we look at in everything and uh, all uh, we definitely have to appreciate thank you so much for always supporting me and supporting for this channel when I've always tried to give you always the update you've been a little bit patient when I'm not here but definitely I'll break try to I'll try to give you my level base in one word thank you so much see you again in the next video it's makes from the makes creation by the way don't forget to support my uh, tiktok account is makes at mix uh, uh, mix tv then also my instagram page that is at mix somewhere 20 you have very interesting rails that you can watch from there my uh, facebook account makes somewhere you can see a little bit of the updates from there my channel that is makes creation tv then there's also another channel where you can have a little glimpse of what you call travels around that is at malcolm makes thank you so much see you in the next video